Hello guys, Charles here and welcome back to my channel. And today we're joined by Arwen as well, who's here to help out. So today we're going to talk about triad switching, which is a really, really simple technique to create modern sounding voicings. Guys like Tim Miller and Mick Goodrick, as well as Alan Holdsworth, and most recently I heard Ied Nessin in a masterclass essentially talking about this from his perspective. All we're really going to do, it's as simple as it sounds, we're going to look for triads and we're going to switch them out for other triads. I'm going to just go through a couple of examples here. It's not a hugely complicated topic, but the most important thing here is if you struggle with these sort of sounds and these sort of concepts, do not think it's because you don't know enough scales or you don't know enough theory or anything like that. That's the approach I used to take. I used to listen to these guys and think, why can't I get those sounds? I still do, but it's not because of a lack of theory. These guys are not creating these sounds through theory. They're creating them through experimentation. So if you are struggling with these sounds, you need to do more experimenting with these colors and just messing around with them until they start to find their way into your playing. Most recently, I uploaded a version of Stella by Starlight, um, which some of you have seen. If you haven't seen that, you can look up here. If you like some of the more outside harmony and that, it's all drawn pretty much from this technique and techniques similar to that. So just by experimenting with it, putting it into your arrangements, you start to sound like you maybe know what you're doing. It's not a lack of theory. So the basic premise is this. If we take a really simple voicing like C major seven. Oh, I'm not plugged in. I'm not plugged in. That's better. So if we take a really simple voicing like a C major seven, we could think of that voicing as we've got the notes here, C, E, G, B. We could think of it as an E minor triad, E, G, B, over C. So all we're gonna do is look at the triads we find within our chord structures and experiment with swapping them out for other triads. So this particular one, what I always go for, this is kind of something that Aiden talked about, is if you see a voicing that someone else always does, we always go for this voicing, an E minor over a C. Try changing the triad type to something different. So in this instance, I could go for an E major. We've talked about that voicing a lot on this channel. It's a major seven sharp five. It's a lovely modern sound. I first pinched that one from Alan Holdsworth years ago. So all I did is took the triad type that was there, swapped it out for another one. I hope that's clear. Let's take a different chord type. Let's take C minor. So this is C minor seven. And I've got C in the bass, E flat, G and B flat, which gives me an E flat major triad. Now I don't need to stick to the same root because this isn't really an E flat major triad, it's a C chord. So I can use any of those additional notes, E flat, G or B flat. So I'm gonna try B flat, but I'm gonna maybe go for, rather than a major voicing, augmented voicing. So if we analyze that, we would call that a minor nine flat five but we're not thinking in terms of strict harmony. We're just thinking it's C minor chord and I've modified it. And we could maybe on that same minor chord, we could take that E flat major triad, maybe make that an augmented. And that gives us a minor major seven again, but we can just think of it as a decoration on a minor seven chord. Let's look at one final example. Let's look at a dominant seven chord, so C7. So C7, we could think of C, E, G, and B flat as an E diminished triad, E, G, B flat over C. Again, let's pick one of those notes. Let's maybe go for, for B flat again. Let's try B flat major over C. Well, that's a really classic sound. What about B flat augmented again? Another great 
dominant sound in chord, just altered sound. What about B flat? What well, haven't we done yet? B flat minor. Great. What about B flat diminished? So I hope you get the, the idea here. I'm just randomly choosing them, but some will work better than others. Um, I kind of just know the ones that I like the sounds of because I've been experimenting with these. But you could pick any of those notes of the triad. So in that instance, I happen to choose B flat, but I could have chosen E or G and experiment with those four triads until you find ones that you like. Keep track of the ones you like, ditch the ones you don't, and try swapping those out. So let's just maybe... Uh, what types have we looked at? Major, minor. Okay, so let's look at maybe the first uh, phrase of Autumn Leaves. So here's how it would normally be played. But let's maybe swap those chords out a bit. So definitely a far more modern sound, and all I did there was apply the substitutions we talked about today, or the alterations, whatever terminology you want to call them. So I really hope you found that one useful. The massive takeaway here, as with everything I try and talk about in this channel, is try and think less theory and just muck around with these ideas a little bit more. Theory is fantastic. Um, I, I know a lot of theory, but when I'm actually playing and experimenting, I try to use as little of it as possible. Try and use things like shapes and, and your ears to dictate what works and what doesn't. And it'll filter through your knowledge of all the music you've ever listened to. And it'll either get the thumbs up or the thumbs down from your brain. And who knows, you might come back to the same idea in five years time and it suddenly gets a thumbs up when once upon a time it used to get the big old thumbs down. So if you did find that one useful, please do give it a like, subscribe, ding that notification bell, and share with any of your friends who you think have got the skills required to apply this technique. And as always, I hope you're all doing very well, getting plenty of practice in, and I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. Roll up, roll up, let me embed a story you'll never forget. A drip, drip, a drowning in debt now. You can't buy your way out. And I heard you find it difficult to cope well. Here by this ball full of hope and limited supply, short lived desire. You'll be needing some mirrors for the smoke guy. Water steel, let's make a deal. I'll keep you well if you keep to healing. What a slogan, so spoken. I'll make the wound if you keep it open. You could have this life as well if you buy these things out.